Hello, and welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am PURC, the Toronto Website Developer, formerly specializing in Drupal, now taking a look at Android app development, as well as dabbling with Rails and a few other things. Um, this is video tutorial number seven in our Android app series on creating the Mathlete app, where in the previous tutorial, we took a look at how we can persist values using shared preferences. In this video tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how we can use toast messages to provide user feedback. Before we do that, I'm over at torontowebsitedeveloper.com slash store. Here you can purchase my series as I complete them. Um, doing so helps to continue to support me and keep these tutorials coming. Um, alternatively, you can also find my apps here listed on my site, uh, where I've got public health inspections recently released uh, for York Region public health inspection information, as well as Mathlete itself. Uh, Mathlete's a little bit rough around the edges, but all that said, it's still out there. So I'm going to close up my site here and we're going to head back to our code where we're at mainactivity.java. This is the main activity file for Mathlete, uh, which is just the one activity because it's just such a small app. So in the previous video tutorial, you'll know that we've gone ahead and we've set up the onCreate and we have this uh, init function uh, as well as reInit. And so in reInit, we actually evaluate whether or not we get a right answer or a wrong answer. And so in doing so, we set an image resource which identifies um, and actually, this is wrong. This shouldn't be in the current score is greater than high score. This should be outside. That kind of threw me off when I was testing things. Um, sorry. So in the right answer, we provide some user feedback by providing a check mark. And then um, if we get a wrong answer, we provide an X. And so an alternative to that is uh, providing some user feedback through a toast message. And so it's not exactly the best uh, app to do that for here, um, but it's still going to be an example I'm going to show you. And so we're going to take a look at the easy way to do a toast message, and then we're going to look at how we can customize toast messages. And so the easy way is just that, very easy. You're going to call um, toast, and so this is a toast object, uh, toast class rather, and we're going to call make text. And so you'll see that there are two overloaded methods here from Android Studio. We have the context, we have a char sequence, so just text and then duration, or we can pass a res ID. And so that res ID is actually passing a view to the toast to make text. Um, or rather, that's how we can use that. Um, but what we're gonna actually do is call make text and pass in this first string. And so for the context, we can just pass this uh, because we know that we're in an activity, we're using this in activity extent of the context. And so uh, we're good there. And here we can just say that's right. And then for the duration, uh, the toast class actually provides two constants, short and long. And so we can just go ahead and use short. I can't remember the actual values these represent, uh, but they're standard for Android, so it's a good thing to use them. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it down below. And so I'll just say wrong answer. And so now we have some two toast messages for a right answer, wrong answer. If we run this, we can see that if we type in 72, we get no toast message. Uh, if we type in the wrong one, or if we type in eight, we don't get a toast message. That's because I forgot the method here. We actually have to call a method called show. And so we create the toast, we actually have to show the toast. And so oh, my mistake, sorry about that. Now when we type in 27, you'll see we get a nice toast message, that's right. And that's the standard position for toasts when you do them this way. And if we type in the wrong answer, you'll see we get the wrong answer. And so those are toast messages kind of right up front. Again, if that's all that you wanted, you can just call make text, pass in your context, your string, your length, and then make sure to call show and you're good. If you want to create your own custom, we're going to do that now. And so when you're doing that, you as with almost everything, you're going to set a layout in an XML file. And so we'll start off very quickly by creating our own XML file. And rather than linear layout, we're going to do a relative layout, I believe. Oops, I need the file name. And so actually, I'm going to stick with linear layout. And we're going to call this uh, toast layout. We're going to go to text. We're just going to do this ourselves. And so here in my linear layout, what I want to do is let's provide a, uh, a background here. And so we're just going to go Android background and we're going to pass in um, four characters here, not three. And the reason why we do that is because we're passing in opacity with the D there. And so we're just making that kind of a light opacity so you can see through just like Android does. And so that's what that background's all about. And then um, it doesn't really matter, but we will pass in Android padding. And I think we have, uh, oops, that. 
that diamond. Do we have an at diamond ourselves here? Yeah, whatever. We'll just use that padding top. Okay. So we have a linear there. Two things we want to show. We want to create an image view and we want to add our check mark image to this. And so image width is just going to be, we have our own diamond. So where is the image? What did we call the previous one? Answer image. So we're just going to use that same thing. Uh, at diamond slash answer image, just to make it consistent. And we actually have to provide our actual image. And so we're just going to provide Android SRC is equal to, and then it's a drawable, and we'll use our check mark. Um, we could customize this, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So uh, check mark. I just want to be able to show you this. So now we have our, our nice check mark image there, and that can be anything that we want it to be. We can actually set it dynamically too, just like we did before. And then we'll pass in a, oh, we should actually, just in case we want to do that, pass in an ID. It's going to be at ID, where is it? And then equals, is that ID equals, I don't know, um, image. I don't know, that's wrong. We'll, we'll get the syntax when we come up here. So we're just going to call it text view. And so we're just going to wrap the content for both. Doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know. We'll add Android padding, add diamond padding top, whatever. Um, we can set the text color and that kind of stuff, but it doesn't really, we don't care about that. So we need to add our ID because here we're going to actually use this. And so this is going to be at plus ID slash text. And that's what we forgot up here at plus ID not equal slash image. And so now we got the proper IDs. And so that's the XML file for our toast. Um, again, you can customize this to your heart's extent, um, but we're good or to your heart's content. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom class and we're going to pass in the message or custom method. And so we'll just call uh, whatever public void and we'll call uh, make toast and we'll take in a string message to display. And now when we do that, what we want to do is, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So we haven't talked about um, actually creating views that aren't part of our activity main. And so activity main is a view itself. Um, and so that's where we're able to use that. But toast layout here isn't actually going to be available. It's not created, there's nothing there. And so th the way that you get a handle on that is you create a layout inflator. And so we're just going to call that layout inflator and it's going to be a new layout inflator. What did I do there? No, I didn't want that. Um, sorry. My mistake. We're not calling new. We're going to call get layout inflator. And so we're going to grab this layout inflator and then with the layout inflator, what we're going to actually do is grab our view and then we are going to inflate our view. And so here, what we do is we call a view and we're going to call this our layout. And it's going to be inflator dot inflate. And what we're going to do is call our, we're going to tell it to inflate our toast layout. And what we're going to do is pass it a view group, which is what we have. Um, and we're going to call find view by RD. And we're going to call r dot ID dot toast layout. And I forgot to actually add that into our layout. So I just have to go up here and for this, we are going to pass an Android ID and it's going to be equal to plus ID. And I can't even remember what I called it, a toast layout or something like that. And then here we have toast layout, so we're good. Now we have to add references to these. And that's because this is not inflator. This is going to be layout inflator. And there we go. Now we've inflated our view. Now, because we have that, we can actually get a hold of our text view. And so text view text is going to be equal to uh, typecast this bad boy. Layout dot find view by RD and we're going to call ID dot text. And so now we have reference to our text view within our layout and we're going to call text dot set text and we'll just give it the message. And so now we have that properly set. Now what we need to do is actually uh, create our toast message, just like we did before. So we're going to call, um, we're going to create a toast and it's going to be a new toast and we're going to pass in the context of this. And so just a brief note, 
because I'm in an activity, I can pass in this. If I wasn't, I would call get application context, and then I could get the actual context for where I am. That's if this is going to be part of a reusable class that you have somewhere else. And so either are going to achieve the same thing. So I'm just going to leave it as this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set the gravity. So I can define where I want this to show up. And so gravity provides this nice constant called, what is it? It's a uh, center vertical. And so that's going to be on the center of my screen. And it's going to ask me for offsets uh, from the center of the screen. I don't want any, so I'm going to set them as zero. Obviously, you could position this wherever you want to position this. Now what I need to do is set the duration. And so I'm just going to call uh, toast length.short, just like we used before. Again, you could set this to whatever you wanted to set it as. Most importantly, what we're going to do is we're going to call toast set view. And here we're going to actually pass in the view that we've created. And so that's going to be our layout. And so now we set our toast to use our layout, um, which has our customizations. And lastly, what we need to do is call the show method, just like we did before. And so when we run this guy, it's not going to work because we didn't actually call reference to it. So I'm just going to cancel this. And up here, rather than toast make this guy, we're going to copy this, take that out, and we're going to say get, no, what do we call it? Make toast, and we'll pass in our text. And then for this guy, we'll do the same thing. I'll make toast wrong answer. And then if we run this guy now, so that's 84. And you'll see we get this nice little um, toast message that comes up. And we could obviously make that a whole lot prettier. But there we go. We have our image. We have our text. It's transparent. It shows up, disappears custom toast message. And really that's the extent of this video tutorial. Um, obviously, if you wanted to make things a little bit uh, prettier, we could add um, uh, uh, horizontal, uh, horizontal orientation to our actual layout so that they don't show up on top of each other. And you could also dynamically set the image rather than use a, a standard uh, and constant checkmark image that we're doing here. Um, and that's just simply by using the set image resource like we did before. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Hopefully it helped you. Again, quick and dirty toast messages or create your own with a layout and then inflate it, add it, create a toast message and set that layout there. Again, if this video tutorial helped you, please leave a thumbs up or a comment on YouTube. Both are greatly appreciated. Hopefully we'll see you for the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.